Runner, hiker, walking boot? What is this thing? Hey guys, Paul Ronto from Run Repeat, and today we have something new and exciting. The Innovate Rocklight Pro G 400 GTX. But before we get into the review of what this is, there's a lot of stats and facts I'm not gonna cover. Make sure you go over to runrepeat.com, check out everything there is to know about this boot, compare it to other boots just like it, get connected with other retailers that sell this, find your size. There's all sorts of information over there that's valuable that won't be in this video. Check out runrepeat.com. This is an ultralight, fast pack, fast moving, hiking boot, running shoe from Innovate. It's designed for those that are doing speed work up on the mountains. They need a little bit more than a trail shoe provides. This isn't your backpacking boot that you're putting weight on your back with. This is a fast moving, nimble, lightweight, aggressive piece of footwear. So first off, Innovate says that this is a totally new product. However, they did have a Rocklight 400 a long time ago, like 2011, but this is totally updated. It's new materials, new upper, new outsole. This uses the graphene compound that they have in some of the running shoes, which honestly I'm sold on. It's fantastic. It's super grippy. It's tough. I don't really know what it's made of, but it's really awesome. I'm digging it. Fit. So this is a four on Innovate's fit scale. Just a quick reminder, Innovate has a fit scale from one to five, five being the widest. So I was a little nervous because I really have a wider foot, but this fit scale four fit me pretty good. It broke in nicely. A couple of the gripes I have, you can't get the laces super tight for some reason over the top, but it fit well. I didn't have any slip. I really did actually like how this boot fit once I got it onto the trail and started breaking it in. Now, one gripe I have on the fit is the lacing system has these obviously two higher hooks for lacing around the ankle. The higher hook seems to get caught on the laces a lot. You kinda have to line the laces up just right to get them in there. The other annoyance is this has got a gusseted tongue, which is great, but as you can see, the gusset ends up here by the ankle. It's easy to get on. I understand why they did it this way. This tongue tended to flop out and the ankle collar a lot of times tended to go behind the tongue. It wasn't a big issue, but it was a small annoyance that I kept noticing and I kept reaching down to try to tuck the tongue back in. You know, surprisingly, it's pretty comfortable. I mean, it's a hiking boot, but it's super light and stiff. It felt good on my foot, not bulky at all like other hiking boots. It's got an EVA midsole. So compared to a traditional boot, it's got a little more softness and plush feeling. It felt pretty dang comfortable. You know, I had zero hot spots in this shoe. I hiked some pretty gnarly terrain. I actually ran in this shoe up a mountain. I did a bunch of yard work in this shoe. I jumped up and down a bunch of times on um, some broken tree limbs that I was trying to jam into a trailer. I've done a lot in this shoe in the past few weeks. I'm pretty surprised for long days. You know, I've walked the dogs in this shoe uh, on cement. Ultimately, it feels like a really sturdy trail running shoe. I mean, that's what it feels like more than a hiking boot. It's really designed for speed. One difference from a running shoe is they did put a rock plate in the midsole, which is a nice touch. Uh, I do think and in a, a shoe this style, you do demand a little more protection underfoot, especially with the type of terrain that it's designed for, which is super rocky, super aggressive, super technical. Um, so I'm glad they did that. You know, it's not too much of a rock plate. It doesn't feel like so stiff that your foot can't flex at all. Oddly enough, you actually get a little bit of ground feel out of this. And I actually appreciated that for going light and fast because I could feel a little bit better what's underfoot and really feel confidence in the fact that I'm standing on something solid or that I have the traction I need to keep going. I would maybe say the Gore-Tex is the complaint. Now, most people love adding Gore-Tex to a shoe. It keeps them waterproof, but this shoe is really designed for moving fast and moving light. And I gotta say, if you're moving that fast, your foot's gonna overheat. And I would have opted for a more breathable upper than a waterproof one. Now, maybe that opinion will change once the snow starts falling and I take this out on the snowy trail. But even then, like, I would rather have a shoe that breathes better and can dry out quicker if it gets wet than a shoe that's waterproof. And when it gets wet, it stays wet. And I fear that if this gets wet, it's gonna stay wet longer than if it just had some sort of breathable mesh upper. Okay, wait, Innovate claims this is a 400 gram shoe. I weighed this, men's size nine. It uh, comes in at 376. This is insanely like big heavy duty Danner. This is like 760, big heavy duty lacrosse also like 750, super lightweight, mesh upper, women's size seven, Columbia 388. It's unbelievable what they were able to achieve as far as the weight goes on these boots. Uh, eight millimeter drop, 20 millimeter stack in the heel. So again, more like a running shoe. Bar none, I think this is insanely durable. I'm really getting on the graphene bandwagon. 
You know, this has got a shoulder ceramic coated upper, a really heavy duty rubber ran toe bumper. Also got a heel bumper, the outsole, uh, six millimeter lugs. I tried to destroy this shoe with the things I've been doing at it. I've been jumping up and down on rocks, I went rock climbing in it. I ran the top of a mountain and it doesn't show a single sign, like not even a scratch. I'm really digging what they put together here at Innovate. Uh, I wasn't sold on looks when I opened the box. I don't like all black shoes normally, but um, as long as you like black, then you're gonna love it because that's the only color it comes in. You know, ultimately it's grown on me. I like it, it's aggressive looking, kind of looks like the Special Forces boot. I don't know if I can live up to that standard. It's definitely growing on me and I'm digging how aggressive it looks. 235, it's got a steep price tag, but it's got Gore-Tex, it's got Scholar, it's a boot, it's got graphene. This isn't competing with a normal running shoe or trail shoe. This really is more of a hiking boot, fast packer. So I do think there's some value there, but it's super niche. I mean, the people that are doing fast packing or alpine running is a pretty small group. Uh, I don't know how many regular people need this boot, but it's been fun, honestly. I, I, I've liked moving fast up on the mountains. I mean, they're fast, they're nimble, they're lightweight. Every time I put them on, I like channel my inner Uli Steck. Like it makes me want to go into the mountains and go fast and go light, do things that normally take a tent and a sleeping bag in one day. I'm excited by this, this product, you know. If they could figure out this, this annoying little lacing problem, I think it would be a great lightweight, light packing, uh, fast moving boot. But even with that small gripe, it's pretty easy to thread those laces through those hooks. So pretty impressed what you came up with here, Innovate. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Please hit the like button below, that helps the channel a ton. Also hit the subscribe button so you see new updates on new products that we're reviewing. Question of the day, boots versus running shoes. Are you okay with us going to boots? Do you like this review? Do you like that we looked at something different? Uh, let us know what you thought below. Thanks again, really appreciate it. Go do B, run, repeat.